one more day. Just one more. Good morning, Susan. It's Claire. Just to let you know, I have a doctor's appointment, so I won't make it today. I know I haven't been there much this week. Yeah, Susan, I know. I'll try to come in later today. Yeah, sure. Sure. I'll talk to you later then. Thanks. Hello? Yes? Well, can you just look for it? I sent it yesterday. It amazes me how much nobody knows anything over there. I can't be the only one on top of things. I really don't have time for this right now. I gotta go. Mr. Thomas? Yes, sir? I know I overreacted. I should have said that to her, but I'm late for my appointment and... Sure, I understand. Mm -hmm. I am sorry. It will not happen again. July 29th, 2016. 
What should have been just another Friday won't be. Today, everything will change. And from now on, everything will be different. And this time, I am not going to fail. It's been long enough. I had to take charge. Change isn't something easy to accept, but it is necessary. I need to see what is on the other side. What else is out there to be explored? Memories. That is all that will be left. I had some good memories. Good times that will never come back. I'm looking forward to this new chapter of my life. I still don't understand why things change so much. Mom, sorry that was me. I just no, it's it's nothing important. I just wanted to. Yeah, I should know better. I'll only call when it's very important. Okay. I love. You know, I always wondered if things would change between us. But I guess they never will. I can't wait anymore. I've reached that point where I can't wait anymore. It's kind of hard for me to do anything when all you think about is yourself. How can you be so selfish? Did you ever think about me? Did you ever care for me? Did you ever care about my dad? I always wondered that. He wasn't even in the ground yet, and you were already looking for your next adventure. I swear, I swear, I tried to understand you, but all I felt was guilt. I felt so guilty for being born, for ruining your life. Because of me, your life changed, and because of it, you never loved me. I know, I know you never loved me. Even as a child, you, were, you would try to buy me with gifts, but now you don't even try anymore. Will you miss me? Will you? Or will you just pretend like you always did? I just, I just want you to care. I just want you to love me. Is this it? Is this how it ends? Somehow I imagined it differently. I was told that I should never doubt God and that love conquers all. Does it really? Does God really love me? Or does he pretend like my mom? What have I done to deserve it? Why can't I ever feel loved? Has he abandoned me? Has he given up on me like everyone else? For the longest time, I have asked for answers, and not once was heard. Why would today be any different? The Bible is supposed to have an answer for everything. How come I was never able to find it?
the Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. Well, too late for that. Hello? Are you there? Can you hear me? Please answer me. I know it's been a while since we talked, or since I talked to you, so forgive me if I don't do this right. You win. I can't take it anymore. Life has been really hard. My world is just hate. I don't have any friends. My family doesn't care about me. Everyone seems so happy and I feel so alone. My faith is long gone. I just don't understand how you can let bad things happen to me if you love me. What kind of love is that? How can I trust you if you already gave up on me? I know you're there. I know you can hear me. Please answer me. This is my last attempt to hear you. So say something, do something. I need to know that you exist. I need to know that you love me. I just want you to love me. Let me do this. Don't give up on me. I know you can do anything, so just do it. I know I don't say this enough, but I love you. I really do. I just want to feel all the love you can give. Please, please forgive me.